Hey, yeah, what's up? This is Disciple Marcello Curran's Rain back up in this anti-Illuminati all day, anti-telepathy all day. All right, yeah, this message is going to be basically about seeing the proper perspective as far as um, being born gay or um, gay being right is is basically is being in the LGBTQ community right as far as um, creation and logical and logical um, perspective and common sense perspective okay so I must first say say that when I was a kid when I was Hmm. Eight, nine. I lost my virginity um, to a boy cousin, an older boy cousin. So I got turned out, you know. And um, I went on to be married. Uh, I have a. I I brought a kid into the world. He's fourteen, but he's not in my life. Um, so I lived a normal life, you know, as far as being straight, I guess you could say, sexually, if you will. Um, even after that happened, you know, after I lost my virginity at, at eight or nine years old, um, I still, I still um, had desire for women. You know, um, what happened as an adult for me, um, as far as being gay, um, I uh, had a military black man in New York City um, come on to me uh, without consent. So it wasn't both times that I interacted with someone gay. It was not really something that I set out to do. When I was young, I was it, it was experimenting. That's why I never looked at that person as... Um, Someone strange or a pedophile or something like that because he was a kid himself, even though he was older than me, he still was a kid, you know. So, but um, when I was older, you know, um, when I was about 35, I think I was 35, yeah, I was 35. So, I was a so. I'm not even going to say I was a late bloomer because it wasn't something that I feel I was, that was in my heart. It was not something that I struggled with. It was not something that um, I toiled with within myself. It was not something that, um, that I longed for, you know, um, I just was, um, like I said, you know, I got turned out when I was young and um, the next, when I was an adult at 35, you know, a black military man here in New York um, made a move on me without consent. You know, he, I, I actually had a tank top on and we, I had like two fifths of vodka that day, you know, and I thought he was just a homie and he pulled my, tank top to the side and started licking my nipples and stroking my my uh, penis so this is someone that was a, a, a military man a black military man um, and he knew I wasn't gay so I just think he just took advantage of me when I was slightly uh, tipsy and everything like that so that's how it happened for me you know what I'm saying? I could have took that person to um, to jail. I mean, I mean, I could have took that person to, I could have had that person charged, you know, because it was not c consensual at the beginning. It was not consensual at all. You know, um, so, but that's what happened. And then I went from there, you know. Um, so that goes to all the people that will say, oh, well, these people just want to be gay, you know. And I'm one of those people that I didn't want to be gay. You know what I'm saying? I had people make moves on me both times in my childhood, 
that was an older older cousin, older cousin making a move on me. And when I was 35, that was a black military man making a move on me. That's not something I, I, I didn't choose to do it necessarily. They, the people that I was with that um, engaged it with into those acts with me, they were older than me both times. They were there. They were navigating the situation both times. You know what I'm saying? So that that crushes these perspectives that people just walk around and want to be gay. It's sometimes it happens when people open up doors. You know what I'm saying? In your childhood and your adulthood, both men don't want to talk about it, but most men that probably are gay had both. They had someone open them up, turn them out when they was children and when they were when they were adults. So that being said, you know, um, you know, it it don't don't have a simple mind, a simplistic mind when it comes to um understanding why there is gay people in the world. Because that's a lot of people that got turned out. You know, um, there is a lot of people that got turned out, you know, and um, you have to be very understanding of that, you know. So I share part of my story before I got into what I'm about to say. So you will know um, where I'm coming from. I'm not some person that just sit back and um, and maintain this homophobic mentality or this hateful gay mentality. If you look at my videos, I haven't I have actually defended um you know certain uh a perspective that a person can be you know gangster and gay. And cuz I've seen it. I mean, I've seen it in Los Angeles. I've seen it I've seen it in, in many places. I mean, the guy that I lost my virginity to as a man, um, he was he was a military man that had already shot. He shot like two or three people that tried to rob him. He killed like two or three people that tried to rob him. So that's the person I lost my, if you will, gay virginity to when I was 35. <clears throat> so this person was a straight up killer. So I can't speak for anyone else, you know, with how it happens and who it happens with. But that's my story. You know, I, I, I was with someone that was had already killed like two or three people that tried to rob them. You know, um, um, so I have to say all that just so you can understand where I'm coming from that you have the right angle. So now you understand I've been through what a lot of actively gay people have been through. You know what I'm saying? Being turned out when you was a kid and then being turned out when you was an adult. Because sometimes, I think a lot of times it happens, like something that happens when you're a kid, you can kind of get past that and grow past that. And then, but then there comes someone in your adulthood that reintroduces you to the same thing that you went with, that you experienced when you was a kid, you know? So that's how it happened for me, you know? Um, so let me go ahead and get to what I'm trying to say. What I believe is that, um, the gay community has taken, um, being gay to, um, a scientific level to like say that you're born that way and they've taken it to a common sense logical level of saying it is logical and common sense in essence for me to be gay I don't believe that I believe some men look feminine I believe some men look very girly and I think some women look very masculine, but you probably should be with a contrast. So if you are um, 
a feminine looking man, then you probably should be with a, a beautiful masculine type woman. Vice versa. If you're a woman that's kind of mas- uh, masculine, you probably would be feel good with like a pretty boy, a very pretty guy, you know, and um, I think that's what it is. You, you're not supposed to be with the typical and you and, and so you can't look at the culture and look at well what kind of guy you should be going for it because that's not the kind of guy or girl you should be going for it. and you have to understand that because in in actuality those those type of individuals are not going to be attracted to you if you are a girly looking guy more times than not you're not going to attract women and this is and this is real same thing with women. If you're a masculine looking female, you might not attract men. But there is a special type of person that you have to have patience to get. You can't just say, well, nobody likes me. You know, woe is me. I'm just going to be with who likes me. Nah, nah, nah. You have to stay in the common sense lane. You know what I mean? You have to stay in... in um. You have to have a, 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 a proper perspective. You can't lose your whole mind because of how you look and who's not attracted to you and who doesn't um, and who doesn't um, like you. You have to have a certain type of man. You are, Look at it this way. You are special. You know what I'm saying? There's not many men that are very pretty to the point that they look girly. You know, I when I, when I was in my 20s, Oh, my early thirties. All throughout my life, I um, I had a. This is how I know how I am perceived. A little child. I was walking through a neighborhood, and a little child was in the in the in the middle of their their yard, in the middle of its yard, and I was just walking by. I guess I was walking by kind of slow. But then, um, the child said, "Are you a girl?" Just like that. Like, are you a girl? And that is the most innocent perspective. I wasn't do I wasn't walking a certain way. I I never had that. I always walked like a street guy. You know what I'm saying? I always walked like that. You know what I'm saying? I never changed my walk. I never uh, nothing. You know, so that was in 2012. When I had someone just shy of 10 years ago, you know, a kid, couldn't have been no more than, what, three or four, standing in the yard playing or just standing there playing around with something in in his hand. And he said, are you a boy or a girl? Now, that's innocence. So I know a lot of people have seen me this way, and this is probably why I've had men hit on me. You know what I'm saying? However, God made me with a penis to reproduce with a woman. You know what I'm saying? And that's what that's the crust of what I'm getting to. Um, women, men. Let's just look at let, look at this first. If there were wolves that decided to be with only male wolves, wolves would eventually go in. In extinct. So if you had wolves, there were all male wolves. They would go in and they wanted to be with only male wolves and they didn't want to be with female wolves. Then wolves would cease to exist. I don't care if they thought they were born. The wolves thought they were born to be with male wolves. I don't care if they enjoy being with male wolves. I don't care what the scenario is. If a wolf does not be, a male wolf is not with a female wolf, it will cease to exist as a species and kind of creation. If the same thing, if pit bulls stop mating with female, a male pit bull, by if they all stop mating, if they just for some reason just stop mating with female pit bulls, then pit bulls would cease to exist. 
It's just a common sense thing. It doesn't matter how desirable male on male sexuality would be for the pit bull. The pit bull would die off if it does not reproduce with females, female pit bulls. So I'm saying all that to say this. The common sense approach to get the LGBTQ community is that as far as showing them what is right and wrong are correct and incorrect, let me say that, is that if men wanted to only be with men, human beings would die off as a whole community, a community, humanity would die off if males only wanted to be with males. I don't have to say nothing else. I don't have to go through your childhood. I already showed you what I've been through. But that does not change the world. I just had a gay experience. It does not change the earth. In the thing in the inhabitant in the inhabitants thereof. It does not change the makeup of how humanity interacts with each other. If all women wanted to be with only women, then then there would be no pregnancies. So this shows us that this is incorrect for humanity. It does. I'm not trying to hear about feelings. I'm not trying to hear about any of that. I'm trying to hear. I'm trying to show you what's correct and incorrect for humanity. And if women were only with women, then there would be no babies in women. Let's cut the foolishness out. Okay. Now you're talking to someone that has been with men. I've been with many men in my life. And so when you hear me talk and say this, this is not from some homophobic bigot. This is someone who knows what you feel and how you feel and know the feelings that you're getting doing being with a man. I understand all of that. You understand? So it's no, it's no malicious hateful intent this is something I felt it needed to be done because a lot of y'all you know you listen to people you listen to a lot of people you know you might I like Lady Gaga but you listen to Lady Gaga song born this way and then all of a sudden you feel like you're born gay well I'm gonna show you why you're not born gay okay because it's incorrect for humanity being that because humanity would die off as a race or creation if male and female did not have intercourse. Okay, so here's the punchline. What are the gay, what is the gay community doing? as far as the um, heterosexual community. How are they seeing them? What are they doing? How are they looking at them? You're putting responsibility foundationally on heterosexuals to reproduce, to keep humanity alive. That's what you're doing. You're keeping, you're putting that responsibility of reproduction on humanity. Don't look at science and all this and how women can have can have babies from semen. Don't 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 look at that because that just came to the scene. There's been people crying and saying they've been born this way and all this and that. And it's common sense that if you were born that way, then that would be against that would be incorrect for humanity. 
I'm not saying you're a mutant. I'm not saying you're per se incorrect for humanity, but your lifestyle is incorrect for humanity. It it does it, it it's not it's not pro humanity because pro humanity is going to produce humanity. You understand? It's going to bring life literally to humanity. Let's put it this way. If a man had cattle that did not mate with other cattle, it would not be profitable. It would not be profitable for the creation or the or, or the, the creation or the species of cattle. Those particular cattle that did not want to mate with other cattle, female cattle, the male cattle that didn't want to mate with the female cattle would be worthless for the overall cattle species. It doesn't matter, no matter if they galloped, to the, you know, and they were peaceful and they galloped together and all this. You're not producing life. So subconsciously, you are putting responsibility on straight people to reproduce. Because you still probably couldn't keep humanity alive through women being injected with semen. You probably still couldn't keep the whole race of humanity alive based on that. Right? All women wouldn't be, it wouldn't work for all women. Okay? And all women wouldn't be doing it. So what does that tell you? That this is not correct for humanity to go on. Let's put it this way. If it's not good for overall humanity, it's incorrect for humanity as a blueprint of path of life. I can't tell you to go down a path of life that does not bring that that could possibly extinct humanity. That's not even I'm not you notice I'm not showing you any scriptures. I'm not saying anything about my my uh, my walk with God. I'm not saying any of that because this is a common sense approach that I have not heard anyone say. You may say you know this, but have you heard anyone else say it? Have you even heard your greatest enemies to the gay community? Have you heard them say it? You have not heard them say it, and then that's all they have to say, really. If you if we don't if you if we don't reproduce as a humanity, we die off. End of game. Game over. Okay, so you subconsciously put the responsibility of reproduction on straight people. What if they say one day, I want to be gay? What if they all, everybody said, everybody said they all wanted to be gay? We wouldn't be producing. We would only be producing when people wanted to. What about people that don't want to have children? What about them? Because a lot of times, honestly, sick children are, you know, when children, people have babies, they're not always, it's not always intentional. A lot of times, they, no one sets out to have, you know, say, we're going to make a baby tonight. <laughs> so it just happens. So just imagine if people just was like, I don't want to have children, okay? I don't want to have no children, and 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 they're just having sex with the same sex, so they can't have no children. Not like gay, like straight people, that part where they just have children sometimes when they don't want to. Straight people are producing and creating humanity. With God's help, whether they want to or not, a lot of times, if everybody was straight, gay, then you you would never be making children. None of the time, you would have to de de be totally dependent on your willing to take semen to some bank. You would have to depend on your choice, your mind being made up to have a child. Whether that be woman or man, man want to go down and give sperm that are that are gay, 
and women that are gay want to go out, go and take sperm from that is cup that came out of a man. We have to depend totally on that in a gay world for reproduction. Because it couldn't happen naturally like when it happened naturally with, with, with a man and a woman, when they don't want to. They're producing a lot of times when they don't want to. It's you, you can, you, a lot of people you will find are not sitting up saying, or the time they had a baby, the point of conception, it was not intentional. They were not wanting to do it. And it happened and it became beautiful and all of that, you know, but it was not intentional. A lot of people don't want to have children. They want their ducks to be in a row before they have them, which is understandable. Okay, so if we depended only on the choice, period, we probably still be in bad shape. <sighs> because a lot of people don't feel financially ready to do it, to have to have children. But nevertheless, children are still brought into the world because men and women are together having intercourse. So humanity still strives whether humanity wants to have children or not. Whether people want humanity to strive, they're still going to make it strive when men and women come together. Whether they, sometimes if they're not even married. So you don't even have to argue with people. Show them common sense. Show them common sense. That's why I told you my, my videos is about showing people for things, showing people things as they are, as opposed to what we thought they were. That's all. We don't, you don't have to argue with nobody. We would die off as a human race if there were only straight gay people. Period. That's all you got to say.